Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, Swedger, we're going to learn how to find volume of square and rectangle pyramids. Okay, don't worry, by the end of this lessons, you master the formulas. Okay, and then we're going to solve step by step and even how this applies in real life situation. So, let's get started. By the way, I am Teacher Ayan and welcome to my channel. So, our lesson for this day is about uh, finding the volume of a square and rectangle pyramids. So, this is grade 8 mathematics, second quarter topic. Right, so this is an example of a pyramid. So, at the bottom, ito po yung dinatawag natin na base, and this one is called the apex. Alright, this one is a square. So, this square is referring to our base. Right, yung ilalim po ng ating pyramid. And another is a rectangle. A rectangular base. So, this is a rectangular pyramid. Ang base niya po is rectangle. And this one is square. Okay, so... The formula for the volume of any pyramid is volume equals one third times the area of the base times the height. So that's why volume equals to one third times base times height. For the square pyramid, the base is a square. So the base is square. So volume equals one third times side squared times the height. Volume is equal to one third times side squared times the height. So this is the formula for the square pyramid. Next, so this is the rectangular pyramid. So when I say rectangular pyramid, the base is rectangle. Of course, the base is rectangle. So the volume equals to one third times length times width times height. Nitin ko po, the volume for the rectangular pyramid is volume or V is equal to one third times length times width times height. So, that's the formula for the two um, pyramid. Next, let have, let's have an example. Example number one, uh, let's try one which is a square pyramid has a base edge of 6 meters and height of 9 meters. So if this is our formula or the pyramid, so this is our height, right? So this is the height of the pyramid that is 9 meters. So the given is 9 meters. And the edge is 6 meters. So, we're going to apply the formula. So, if the formula is equals to 1 third times squared times h. So, therefore, we're going to substitute the value of this one. Okay, s squared to 6 squared. Since... Um, square ito, so lahat ng sides na ito, okay, here at saka dito, is 6, so therefore, 6 squared, so 6 times 6, that is 36 then, 36 times 9 times 1 third that is 100 cubic meters so this is our answer next now, let's do, do a regular pyramid. For example, number 2. A rectangular pyramid has a base of 12 cm by 10 cm and a height of 15 cm. For so example, this is our rectangular pyramid. So, our base, so base is 12 cm. And the other side is 10 
centimeters. Then the height given is 15 centimeters. So what formula? Alright, ang formula natin is volume is equal to 1 third times length. Okay, length times width times height. So una natin multiply sa loob. So the given, so 12 times 10, that is already 120. So therefore, 1 third times 12 times 10 times 15. That is equivalent to 600 cubic meters. So our answer is 600 cubic meters. Okay, recap. So recap po tayo. Today we learned that the volume of pyramid is one third the volume of prism with the same base and height. So remember the formulas for both square and rectangle pyramids. Thank you so much. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it like, share with your classmates, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Samuli, dagang salamat. This is Ayan Viloria. Follow my Facebook account and YouTube account.